Where's North from here? And welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Omega. So, now that that's out of the way, let's go on and talk to Bill. Or wait, Bill? Oh my god! It's a Clefairy! Now it's actually Bill. Somehow, in some weird experiment involving teleporters and I don't know what, Bill got turned into a Pokemon. So what he needs us to do is turn on the cell separator on this thing. Why does a teleporter have a cell separator? Whatever. Oh, I, I think I get it. It's just so bizarre. I thought this was a teleportation device, not some sort of weird... Why was there a Pokemon in the other thing? You know what? Screw it. I don't exactly understand this, and they don't really explain it. All we know is that, due to some bizarre experiment, he got turned into a Pokemon, and now he's not a Pokemon. And he gives us a ticket to the SSN. 
I would re really would have liked those Pokedex pages considering the the context of this game, but oh well. And a uh, famous date spot. Whatever. So now that that's taken care of, we can take on the gym, or at least the first part of it. I don't know if I'm taking on Misty today. But first I need to heal, because my team's uh, pretty close to dead right now, and Sparkster actually got knocked out. Okay. Let's go s Let's save real quick. And hopefully uh, the gym will give me enough money to purchase some great balls so I can do a bunch of catching, because there's a few new things to catch. Okay. So Misty's a water gym, so Sparkster's probably going to do fairly well here. So is Gina, but I'm probably just going to be sticking to Sparkster, because she's falling behind, behind a little bit. Sadly, Salad doesn't have an electric move yet, so he's not going to be too good here, but... I'm still going to keep him in front just so he can get the experience. Salad actually learns Spark at level 25, I think, which is much better than Thundershock, but that, that's still a while. And God damn it, stop missing. Stupid smoke screen. And Shelter! I would like to switch out to get rid of the accuracy drop, but Shelter's got pretty pathetic special defense, so that should do pretty good, and it did. And Sparkster's special attack stat is actually getting pretty good. It didn't start out so great, but now it's doing pretty well. Okay, I'm probably gonna... Actually, I probably will take on Misty in this episode. Or at least give a first attempt. Okay, Corsola, once again, Sparkster had... Actually, Gina would be good here, because four times effective. Okay, let's get that Mega Drain in. And even though Gina doesn't have an... Oh, come on! I thought, sh I would have guessed a Shroomish had better special attack than that. I mean, I know its second, its evolution is a part fighting type, so... Eh, whatever. It, two turns is okay. Okay, we're gonna go heal up real quick. I hate how you can't run in buildings in this game. It's a total pain in the ass. Okay, so, let's heal up, and I'm probably not gonna keep Salad in the front, because, uh... It would be more useful to just have Sparkster up there and get the preemptive hit in. Don't give Misty an opportunity to kill me. Unless Misty has a Corsola, which she might. Uh, all the last probably not going to be too useful here, and even then, Corsola is a bit of a better physical defender, so she still wouldn't be that useful. And Misty! I kind of skipped through her dialogue, but she doesn't say anything important. Okay, she leads off with Staryu, just like in Pokemon Yellow. But this is going to go much better than Pokemon Yellow. I don't have Mick with me, but I've got something better. Shiny Pikachu Sparkster. And Water Pulse is a pain in the ass. Thankfully, it didn't confuse me. It's got a pretty good chance of confusing your Pokemon, which is really annoying. I should have bought some potions, because these things can do a pretty decent number on me. Psyduck. Psyduck shouldn't be too bad. Let's see what the Psyduck can do. Doesn't have a great special defense. It also has Water Pulse. But it isn't... Unless crap like that happens. I was gonna say Psyduck isn't as good a special attacker as uh, Staryu, but of course it gets a critical and screws me over. Okay, Mega Drain. Oh, come on! These Pokemon have fairly diabolical movesets, I must say. Actually, I think I figured out why uh, Gina's Mega Drain didn't do as well against Corsola. Corsola is actually one of the few Pokemon that has, has had its stats increased. I believe. I, I, I'm pretty sure I read in the README that Corsola has increased stats. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, one Pokemon that desperately needs increased stats but doesn't have them is Sunkern. Because Sunfloor isn't a terrible Pokemon, but it's by no means a very good one. And Sunkern is just abysmally bad. I don't really get why it doesn't have increased stats. But whatever. And I might just lose here because Misty's kicking my ass. I'm going to have to rely on Trap. Okay, let's try and set up a Calm Mind Sweep. 
And this thing is faster than me. Okay, we'll just give him that one con mind. I should have bought potions before I started this fight. But I want to save my money for Pokeballs. Okay, hopefully... Ah, crap. She's got another star. You should... Mother... Ah! I knew that was going to happen. Oh, you got to be joking me. Come on. Don't confuse... Come on. Hit, hit, hit. Damn! Well, once again, this is another failed attempt. What the hell? I guess I'm just not well prepared for this one. Actually, we're going to set up a sunny day because it weakens f water type moves. Oh crap, Dragon Dance. That is very bad. Well, actually, it's not that bad because this thing only has special attacks. Actually, now that I think about it, that's not that useful for this thing. And then it has Dragon Rage, which does a fixed 40 damage, which is incredibly devastating at this point in the game. And Salad is completely screwed. Its water gun is even weaker, and it's not very effective. Come on, Supersonic. Son of a bitch. And now we're just gonna flail and pray. Now, like I said, the gym leaders are way tougher in this hack. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Well, that went insanely badly. Okay, uh, well, I think this was a good demonstration on why you should have healing items before going to a gym leader. I'll admit my team isn't that ideal for taking on Misty, but ugh, fat items, that would have went way better. That confusion did screw me over, though. So, well, as much as it pains me to do, we're going to buy potions, because I need them desperately. Okay, what do you got? Let's see, super potions only. Oh, super potions are actually cheaper in this game. I didn't notice that. Huh, well, that was nice of the guy who did this. What was it? Daruga or something? I know it, it had his name at the start of the hack. I just couldn't remember it. So, thanks, man. Cheaper super potions. Yeah, so, I guess I'm going to have a failed takeout of the gym leader every single time. Hopefully not, but... Yeah, this is the second failed attempt I've had against the gym leader. Well, actually, you didn't see the failed attempt I had against Brock, because that was a waste of your time. That would have been a waste, but... Eh, whatever. So, yeah, next time we're going to take on Misty for real. I might do a bit of training. Not a lot, because if I just train for the gym leaders every... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do any training. I'll rely on my potions. Ho hopefully, I won't get as unlucky as I did next time, so... Yeah, until then, see ya.